Hello and welcome everyone. So today's video is a Mary and Faithful inspired makeup tutorial. I'm going to show you how I created this makeup look inspired by Mary and Faithful's late 60s makeup looks. I'm also going to show you how I created this signature hairstyle of hers. Mary and Faithful is one of my biggest style and makeup inspiration. She is such an incredible woman. And if you want to learn more about her and how to create this makeup look, just keep on watching. All that I've done so far was just to apply a bit of skin tint to really cover up my blemishes. Marian had beautiful skin, so I just wanted to add a little bit of coverage to my face. However, I chose a very light skin tint so that you can still see my freckles because Marian had really cute freckles and I do too and I really wanted them to be a part of this look. So I feel like Marian's makeup kind of evolved from the early 60s to like the late 60s and the 70s. In the early 60s, she did a lot of that very classic cut crease that is very bold, but then in the later 60s she kind of did a more softer, more smoky look which I'm going for today because that is just my favorite look of hers. Marianne Faithful is one of my biggest fashion and makeup style inspirations. Whenever I get my hair cut I get it inspired by her. I think she's incredible. If you do not know who Marianne Faithful is, she's a musician, an actress, a muse. She was also dating Mick Jagger for a while and it was a very public relationship so you see a lot of pictures of these two together. But as said, today I'm going for the look that she kind of wore in the later 60s and the first thing that I'm gonna do is to apply that really light silvery color all over my lid. I really love Marian not only for her music and the incredible actress that she is but also just for who she is as a person. She just seems like such an incredible and inspiring woman. I remember I've always really liked her style but I wasn't really but I didn't really knew a lot about her acting or her music until I watched the Rolling Stones Rock and Roll Circus. And when I watched that, I immediately fell in love with Marianne and her singing and acting and just her whole aura. I feel like she has a really hypnotizing aura and you just really like to watch her. And just watching her perform is magical. What I really like about this eyeshadow is that it has a great coverage. However, I don't really think the glittery look is very fitting for Marianne's late 60s looks. So now I'm just gonna go in with some white eyeshadow and I'm just gonna make this one appear a bit more matte. And now I'm going over it with this kind of beige color just to really tone it down a bit more. So next up I'm using this brush which is just a little bit bigger and I'm going to blend out the eyeshadow. From the pictures that I saw and the look that I'm kind of going for, you couldn't really see the line where her eyeshadow ended, so it was really soft and really nicely blended. So that's what I'm aiming for. So next up I'm going to show you how to create that really soft cut crease. So usually with the cut crease I use a really small brush and then I make it really pointy and sharp. However, her look was a lot more blended, a lot more smoky. And that is why I'm using this brush, which is just a little bit bigger. And also the way that this is shaped really helps with that blended look. So next up I'm just using black eyeshadow and I'm making sure that I kind of pat out the eyeshadow on the brush so that it's not too much product because otherwise this will be very, very dark and very, very thick. And I feel like you can always go in and add more color, but taking away color is really hard. So now I'm just starting in my inner corner. Just slowly working my way all around the eye. Just like that. So as you can see, it is super light right now, but I kind of traced the shape that I want to go for. And now I can take more and more product and fill it in. Making sure it's still very, very soft by not using too much product. So what she did in the ends was to kind of take them out a bit further, but not too much on the side and rather kind of go down the slightest bit. So I'm done on this side and my number one tip for doing cut creases is to always keep your eyes open. I feel like some people tend to close one eye and then do the cut crease. However, if you keep your eye open, you will see where it should go. Like you can tell by the natural shape of your eye where you want to place the cut crease. And now I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other eye. 
So as you can see, I'm done with both of the cut creases. And I feel like for that Marion look, you kind of have to make sure that your cut creases are very soft and nicely blended. And then also that you don't take too much product because hers weren't really pitch black, but rather this kind of grayish, darker color. So next up, I'm gonna do the eyeliner. From the pictures that I've seen, she just wore a very easy eyeliner. It wasn't really too thick and she didn't really brought it out too much. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm just starting in here. So as you can see, I really only brought it out the slightest bit and kind of also more facing downwards because that's what Marianne did. And now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this eye. So now that I'm done with the eyeliner, I'm gonna do the bottom lash line. And for her bottom lashes, Marianne kind of did different things. I found a lot of pictures where she kind of wore like a darker eyeshadow underneath her lower lash line. There are pictures where she kind of drew on little twiggy lashes. And then there were a lot of pictures where she just wore a black eyeliner on her waterline. And that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm using this Kohl eyeliner. I talked about these before. They were really popular in the 60s and 70s. Kohl eyeliner is really easy to handle and pretty easy to use. So I'm just gonna use this and go all the way on my waterline with it. If you're drawing on your waterline, please do not use liquid eyeliner. You will get it in your eyes and there's a possibility that it'll hurt pretty bad. So just make sure to use a cold eyeliner. They're really inexpensive and they're just the best product to use on your waterline. So it doesn't really look like Marion was a lot into fake lashes. In most of the pictures, it just kind of looks like she was wearing a lot of mascara. And so I decided to do that. I'm using two products for this, a lash primer and some mascara. I've tried a lot of different things when it comes to mascara and I found this combination to kind of give me the best 60s doll-like result. So I'm starting off with the priming base and I'm just putting that on my eyelashes. Make sure to not forget the lower lashes. And then I'm just gonna go over it with some waterproof mascara. I'm just gonna go over a couple of times. In most of the pictures, it really looks like she's wearing a lot of mascara. So I feel like the eyelashes and the eyes in general are looking pretty good. From what I could tell, Marion was really into natural eyebrows, so I'm not doing anything other than just brushing them out a little bit. You could also use like some soap or some pomade to make them stay in place. That's what I like to do sometimes. But other than that, I'm just gonna leave them naturally like that. So it doesn't really look like she's wearing any blush or any lipstick, so I feel like I'm done with the makeup so far. For the hair, as said, my haircut is highly inspired by hers, so that is really handy right now. She also had bangs, sometimes they were shorter, sometimes they were longer, which is what I do too. I just cut them every now and then, and then they're usually pretty short, like I cut them yesterday, that's why they're looking like this. But then I'll just let them grow out a little more, and I feel like that's kind of what she did. She also had these little strings right here, which I feel like frame the face really nicely. However, her hair was a lot straighter than mine. I already brushed it out and tried to make it look as straight as possible, but I'm just gonna go in with a straightener that I'm straightening out the ends and especially the little curl right here. And then I'm gonna show you how to do her signature hairstyle. I'm not really like sectioning off my hair or anything because as said, I already tried to brush out my curls after washing my hair yesterday. Um, however, I'm just kind of going over it now to make it straighter. In the late 60s, Marianne also cut off all of her hair and had this like stunning short haircut. And I feel like she looked so, so incredible with it. So I feel like her relationship with Mick Jagger always gets glorified because there were a lot of not so good things going on in that relationship. Like Marion already had a kid when they met and there was this really infamous Rolling Stone drug raid. They were all searched for drugs and then they were arrested for drug possession. And she said that that day really changed her life. And I honestly feel like she's often just seen as the girlfriend of Mick Jagger, which I feel like is really degrading to her because she's an incredible artist herself. So I really like how my hair is looking now. So it doesn't really look like her hair was perfectly straight or anything. She didn't really go for that like 
super polished look i feel like and so i'm gonna leave my hair like this and now i'm just gonna show you how to do the really signature mary and faithful hairstyle basically she left out all of her front pieces and then she just took a part of her hair and pinned it back like so kind of like put this over her ears again and then that's it so it's a super easy hairstyle you can use all sorts of hair clips or even like small little hair ties for this look Today I'm using this really gorgeous little hair clip that I got at a vintage market and I just feel like it works great with the look. So I'm just gonna pin my hair back like this. So yeah, that's it. That's my finished Merry and Faithful look. I really hope you like it. I'm gonna put up some close-up shots now so you can properly see the makeup and the entire look. Marian Faithful is one of my biggest style inspirations and that is why I'm going to film an entire lookbook dedicated to her which is going to be the next video up after this one so make sure to subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss out on that video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did I would love you to give it a thumbs up and maybe even share it with a friend. It supports me, it supports the channel and it would mean a lot. I hope you have an amazing day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine, take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys!